Alright, this is for Mark, because <coughs> he, uh, he had asked me something about what happens when you're a vampire. Because apparently he has the, he just got the, uh, well not just, but he got the, uh, your vampiric blood is boiling thing. So I'm going to show you my main character, because he's a vampire. And I'm going to, uh, tell you how to deal with the vampiric blood boiling. Well, there's two ways you can deal with it. I deal with it in both ways. If the game will fucking load. Also, Mark, did you actually delete that comment where you asked about what that blood boiling thing means? Because when I replied to it, uh, alright, I approved your comments, then replied to it, and it said that your comment didn't exist. Oh, I was, uh, huh, I was in this DLC, apparently, and there's a ram net going underwater. So yeah, this is the Vampire Lord. I love it. And the Vampire Lord has two forms. It can float, meaning that it can actually have water walking. And it can, uh, walk. The same button that you use for, uh, what the hell? I've never seen a net actually on land. Unless I'm attacking. Um, the same button that you use for sneaking is the same one that you use to switch between your walking and flying modes. And there's a significant difference between those two. Will you go away? You're creeping me the fuck out. Alright, when you're on the ground, you, uh... You can melee. And if you power attack an enemy who has low health, you'll actually perform an execution. Although, that means you'll almost always drink their blood. And I'm going to get onto the subject as to why you should... When you're a vampire, you should try not to drink blood. Up. It actually stopped. Alrighty. Hello. Hey, go away. Okay then. Alright, so, yeah, we'll get onto the reason you don't want to drink blood, but, uh, right now, why are you still there? Um, when you're in your flying form, you have access to your magic. The most notable one is your ability to use drain light. This is an extremely OP or overpowered spell. I also have the Vampiric Grip, which basically when you uh, point it at a live creature, I don't want to attack that net because I like the net and they're rare. Um, basically it turns them into a ragdoll that you can throw around. I have to do something where I, uh, I pick them up, I throw them, and then I uh, like to test my aim and try to shoot them. And huh, there's the Red Mountain. Anyway, there's a few that you can get, like, uh, you can turn into a, a flock of, a flock of bats, whatever, you know what I mean. You can, I don't remember what that does, you can raise the dead, you can change back to your normal form, you can summon a gargoyle. Yeah, they're cool. Ah, will you go away? You're creepy. Um, you can use the Vampiric Sight, which is night vision. What the hell? Did something explode? And there's the Vampiric Grip again. Uh, for now, I'm going to show you my normal form. So, oh wait, I have it on, yep, I have it on revert form. So, oh, first I'll show you my Vampiric Perk Tree. Now, when you uh, kill enemies either with a bite attack or with the Drain Life spell, you gain experience for the Vamp Lord tree. Uh, the first one you can get is the Power of the Grave. You get plus 50 uh, to uh, health, magicka, and stamina when you're a vamp. Um, there's that thing, so you can, uh, if you kill an enemy with a power attack, bite, you'll, all, you're, you'll completely heal. There's that thing. Oh. This one, um, I don't... Alright. This one, when you have it, bats will, uh, surround you when you enter combat. 
and they'll not only attack enemies, but when the enemy is dead, they'll actually, like, go into the body, drink the blood, and leave. Um, I actually use it to determine when something is attacking me, because no matter where the creature is, if it sees you and decides to enter combat, it automatically causes the bats to come, so you'll know when you're going to be attacked. I haven't done this tree yet, but I, uh, well, I did. Ugh, but then the game froze once before I had time to save, so, yeah. Alright, so now you can see myself in my real form. Oh, and it's actually daytime, I think. Wait for it, the transformation back takes a while. Ah, so there's my normal person. I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, his face... There's actually... Alright, the, uh, war paint I chose was a, like, it, lo it was a handprint that was blood red, so it looked like someone had, like, like, one of his victims had, uh, like, uh, made one last feeble attempt at, uh, at fighting him off. But now that he's a vampire, it's... Oh, my gargoyle died. Now that he's a vampire, it's perfect because it looks like his face, uh, his mouth is uh, leaking blood. So, yeah, you get to see my main character now. And you also get to see my weapons of choice. That's, uh, Fireball. And a sword that, uh, a Nordic sword that steals enemy souls. Alright, and, uh, alright. Now, wait. Yeah, oh, no, it's actually day, it's actually nighttime. But I'm gonna fast forward so you can see. Because, alright, any time between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m., you're safe when you're a vampire. But, at 5 a.m., your vampiric blood will boil. So, unless you have, like, or that means that your health, stamina, and magicka have 0% regeneration unless you use either potions or enchantments for it. Or spells. And, uh, yeah. Now, I actually have enchantments and shit to counteract this, because, as you can... It'll go up slowly, but you can see that I actually regen my, uh, stamina even though it's day. And I regenerate my magicka even though it's day. The only thing I don't have regeneration on is my health. You also get a uh, weakness to uh, fire when you're a vampire. However, I have something that somewhat con contradicts, counteracts that. Where is it? There it is. My necklace. And you get a lot of perks as the uh, as the vampire, like your immune to disease and poison, etc. You're 25% you know, harder to detect when you're sneaking. Where is it? Oh. This isn't related to the vampire, but it's one of the things you find in the black book called The Winds of Change. It's completely useless. It says that your attacks, shouts, and destruction spells do no damage to your companions when you're in combat. They still take full damage, so this is completely useless. Oh, that's just a thing that you can get with, uh, with one of the side quests as a vampire. Um, yeah, so... I actually can regenerate, and anyway, the reason you don't want to drink blood is because, well, I have to say it right now because the time's almost up and I don't want to make this a two-parter. Alright, well, the longer you go without blood, I think it happens like every week or so you go without blood, god that was creepy, you will uh, gain, uh, you'll, like your weaknesses to sunlight and, uh, and fire will increase, but all of your other powers will increase as well. What the? Hey, get back here! Get back here! Get back here! Need something? Okay, what the hell were you? Alrighty then. So yeah, the longer you go without drinking blood as a vampire, the stronger your vampiric powers become, but the stronger your weaknesses become. The hell was that? Alright, so that's, uh, it's pretty much being a vampire in a nutshell. So, is that guy still pissed at me for almost killing him? Nope. What the shit fuck? Okay, um, I just saw something out of my nightmares.
God, that's freaky. So yeah.